Good morning. It is Monday, the 27th of June. Um, start of a new week. I ha uh, am. I'm trying. It's also the start of a new studio vlog. So, hi. Welcome to a new studio vlog. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a couple of new drawings this week. I'm really excited about it. Um, this morning, though, I've decided to kind of be a little bit productive. Um, I've currently got my laundry on. Um, and yeah, I decided to put, I was like, oh, I really need to do my laundry, but I also need to record critiques and you know do some do some recording and my um words today my podcast for patreon i need to record and edit and put out today really so i need to do those and i thought oh i really need to put my washing on though because <laughs> otherwise i go all week and none of my washing gets done and then i end up doing like three thousand million loads on the weekend and then I'm just stuck with like this massive pile of washing that I never want to put away so I'm trying to combat that um, <clears throat> by actually doing some washing during the day and I decided to put it on first thing this morning I was gonna be lazy and I was gonna sit down and I was going to I've got two books on the go that I really want to read I've got a book from the library it's this one it's a it's a classic um, it's Brave New World by Aldous Huxley um it's it's basically um i don't really know <laughs> it is far in the future the world controllers have created the ideal society so um the clever through clever use of genetic engineering brainwashing and recre recreational sex and drugs all its members are happy consumers bernard mark seems alone harboring an ill-defined longing to break free a visit to one of the few remaining savage reservations where the old imperfect life still continues may be the cure for his distress. It's it's a masterpiece, apparently. Um, and it's like one of those classics that you just have to read. And it does have introductions by Margaret Atwood and I've just read The Handmaid's Tale and I really did enjoy that book. It's like one of those books that is like, it's kind of actually relevant to what's going on in the world at the moment because it's all about female suppression. <laughs> and forcing people to have children so it's basically the news about the abortion law and all of that i was like ah oh, look margaret atwood predicted the future um anyway so i'm reading this i am struggling with it a little bit um and i've also just finished the family upstairs on my kindle which was a really good read it's i highly recommend it is a really good book i could not put it down i was like i need to, i need to know what's going to happen i need to know so i just ended up reading and reading um and i've just downloaded another one I cannot for the life of me remember what that is but i was like oh you know i'm just gonna be lazy and i'm just gonna sit down and i'm gonna read or i'm gonna watch some um bts on the tv just to get myself happy uh, and then i was like no amy we're gonna put our washing on and whilst that washing is doing we can do all of the admin i say all of the admin there was literally like a couple of people that needed add in from patreon onto the website and then i've just got nine orders to package so i was like you know what whilst the washing is doing we're gonna do that so that's what i'm doing at the moment i cannot show you the envelopes but i have a couple well i have a load of like single card orders and then i've got a couple of pin wooden pin orders which is always nice because I rarely get a pin order and I did say that I want to like clear that stock out so it's going slowly I'm still doing my studio um, I'm hoping that my studio makeover video will be out before this but you never know um, yeah anyway so that's what I'm doing this morning I'm just getting some orders done I need to go round and feed my mum's cats because she's away for two weeks and I'm on cat duty because you know she lives just around the corner um, so I need to go and feed those so I can walk my orders to the post box at the same time it's going to be one of my first trips out so I'm going to have to actually put like a proper shoe on my other foot I mean I've been out but this is like one of my only trips out by myself <laughs> um, so yeah that's what I'm doing this morning so 
let's package these orders together and oh I also need to do some outlining because I need to do two outlines I'm going to draw a puma because I read the the puma years memoir and I was like I really need to draw a puma now but I'm going to make it into a tutorial as well so I need to draw that up and I also need to draw the robin up for the live draw along session which will be on Wednesday so we need to draw those up to make that switch to conservation art and doing stuff to help conservation and just bring more awareness I'm also bringing that in the into my tutorial world let's call it um, because I was thinking how can I how can I make it so that I can bring the two together so that one I'm not losing tutorial content that I still love to create and that you guys still love to see um, but how can I bring it so that I'm actually enjoying it more and feel like it's a bit more worthwhile than just drawing a pretty picture if that makes sense um, so I've decided that from now on I do monthly challenges or I started monthly challenges uh, since like the end of last year um, so they've been going like almost a year now these monthly challenges so I've decided to obviously continue them not that many people do them which is a great annoyance not an annoyance but I just I just sometimes wish that more people would join in <laughs> um, so instead of having just a very small particular task to do for the monthly challenge what I'm going to do them as now is um, a challenge over two months and it's going to be of a theme, um, a wildlife theme. So this two months is going to be wetlands, mainly because I'd already chosen a mountain lion to draw and I did want to do some kind of aquatic like, I really, I really want to draw a platypus and I just thought that this would go with wetlands because platypuses are in the wetlands biome environment thing uh, there are just a few things I want to draw that I potentially will get around to drawing um, and I just thought that it would be a good theme to start off with because wetlands are quite common they're lakes and rivers that kind of thing so any wildlife that kind of uses that and calls it home that type of thing it's going to be quite easy to to kind of get that particular type of wildlife and understand that biome so that's what I've started off with so each month will have a different not just necessarily like wetlands um, mountain ranges that kind of thing but I'm going to do like particular groups of animals for instance for a couple of months that type of thing so I'm gonna make a whole list of like everything that I could potentially do um, and like I did with the animal artist collective so it's kind of borrowing ideas from what we did with the Animal Artist Collective where we would choose two themes and then we'd put those two themes to a public vote or was it more than two themes? I can't remember now um, but we'd put themes to a vote and then the winning thing would become what we would create artwork Ooh. around Ooh. okay <laughs> um, so I'm going to take that element Obviously the Animal Artist Collective was also centred around themes and animals and that kind of thing. So I'm kind of taking those elements and applying it into my work and to patrons and students. Um, so what we will get to vote on is the theme for every couple of months, um, the animal or species for a particular drawer along um, and that type of thing. So there'll be more... Um, interactivity between myself and students so it kind of helps it kind of 
makes students a bit more involved in the choice and like just everything i'm not really good with words today so you'll have to excuse me um but it just helps to get people involved a bit more um i'm fully expecting that a lot of people are going to unsubscribe from my tutorials because they're not interested in this particular type of like voting and like a bit more of an education on particular types of things um i'm fully expecting that that's fine but I really need to go down this path and I really need to explore it. So this is what I'm going to do and these are the changes that I'm making. <laughs> um, so within the monthly challenge, this month is wetlands, so I've kind of put it out there as just draw anything. Chaffa. <laughs> um, just draw anything that is like to do with wetlands it can be an animal it can be flora it could be scenery it can be anything and also just in any medium just to just really get involved i'm also going to be doing the same in my sketchbook um using some more paint and just painting different um things um scenery that type of thing so i've got loads of photos of lakes and things that i visited and and waterfalls and that kind of thing and just different areas and some different wildlife and things and i really want to paint them and not this i don't want to use colored pencil so i'm just going to use different medium and i'm going to use my sketchbook and get those ideas out of my head and down onto paper just to create something a bit more creative um and then I'm going to centre tutorials for those two months that the challenge is in around animals that you can find in that particular biome. Um, and then that gives me a wide choice of animals as well within a specific subject. And also where I'm going to be using my sketchbook and um, creating like a bit more creative artworks of different things, I'm going to use those sketchbook, whatever you want to call them, I'm going to be using those and um, creating like, I don't want to say info sheets, but I just want to put together like a little graphic and a little bit of like a post together about the creative process and also giving some educational info on the particular thing that I have drawn. This is just going to be for Patreon for the time being. I've made post little snippets on Instagram and things, but the main bulk of the content, if you're interested in learning about anything to do with ecology and that, we're going to be learning together because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an ecologist. <laughs> I'm not too, like, I don't have an in-depth knowledge on all of these different areas and all of these different animals. So I'm going to be doing research as well, getting my knowledge up there, and then I'm just going to put everything that I've learned down and give it to you guys so that we can learn together. Um, so if you want to come along for that learning process, majority, the bulk of everything is going to be on Patreon. It's also going to be on my student group on Facebook because I don't have a place for this on my website and it's going to be a lot of stuff I'm potentially thinking. So yeah, <clears throat> hello. <laughs> I'm popular today apparently. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be a lot more free with my work and just concentrating on on what I want to do, which is what I should be doing. So I'm fully expecting like people to unsubscribe and for my income to go down. It already has this year, like quite a bit. Um, I'm not sad about it. Obviously, like it's not nice to see like income go down and because of the price of everything going up, I am kind of like but I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with it because I'm I'm finally kind of doing something that I want to do, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's, it's part of this whole thing of just, I just feel like I've been stuck in a rut and now I'm getting out of that rut and really finally enjoying myself and I'm really excited about it. But the time just keeps going so freaking fast that I just, I just, I just can't, it's already the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to my American viewers, although this will be well late when you see this vlog. Uh, anyway, this has been a 10 minute ramble for the beginning of the vlog, so um, enjoy the rest. Good morning. <laughs> it is the 14th of July. Um, 
so this week has been very much an admin week i haven't really done a lot uh well i say that i have done a lot i've done like thumbnail tasks and like that kind of admin -y type of things to do um so i have done work <laughs> i just haven't been like I haven't done any drawing so I don't really consider anything else that I do to be work if that makes sense um but I'm just setting up a painting I'm in the middle of uh cleaning this guy uh I've got like all the big chunks of acrylic because I didn't clean it the last time I used it I'm terrible at that as anybody else um so I'm going to be drawing painting I'm gonna paint I've got two photos that I took um, in the Lake District last year. Uh, I've got one of like a really nice river with nice lighting, which kind of scares me because I want to get it right <laughs> uh, and I don't know if I can. Um, and then I've also got a like mount, um, not mountain, one of Lake Windermere and it's got like a nice water scene and then you've got some of the hills in the background and some boats on the water i'm leaning towards the river because it this is it that's what it looks like i just really love the mix of the greens and the blues uh so i'm gonna see i'm gonna i'm gonna paint that one i think i've only got a square canvas board though so i'm gonna have to crop it i'm gonna crop it I mm, don't know. I might, I might elongate it. I don't know. I haven't really figured it out. I just thought I have a therapy. My last therapy session today is at one, so I've got about forty minutes until I have to cook myself something and then eat it and then go. Um, so I thought that I'd just dig out the paint. I've done my YouTube thumbnail for today um, for Friday. I've done that and uploaded it. Got all of the Friday's video ready. So I don't really have that much like spare time to just crack on with the drawing. Also, I have ordered a bunch of, um, I'm just gonna fill out the paint whilst I'm doing this. I've ordered a bunch of pan pastels because I really want to do a pan pastel background for the Puma piece. I put a poll up on Patreon asking whether it should be a blue or a green background and i was really leaning towards the blue because i'd done a green background for um for the lima and i feel like it would probably end up being a little bit similar let me see if i can show you the options for it um so i kind of feel like i wanted to go with the blue because here are the options this is just the post on patreon so they're both pretty similar like I feel like the Puma stands out more on the blue because you've got those contrasting colours the green it, it kind of blends in a bit more someone suggested doing a darker background and I'm going to play around with that on the iPad and see what that looks like because a darker blue I think would look like a mid nighty kind of blue would look quite nice with little accents of like turquoise here and there would be quite good um so I'm going to play around with that, I think. The <laughs> the green option is winning on the poll, though. Which is a thing that I, I always put up a poll to ask for what people would prefer. I don't always necessarily, I suppose, have to take those suggestions. I always feel like I should um, give the people what they want and that type of thing. But I'm learning more to kind of just see what people want and then see if it persuades my opinion in another direction don't do this this is terrible terrible tube opening etiquette um so yeah um the poll is leaning towards the green um uh, but i may put up another poll with some darker options with the blue i'll see how they look on the ipad i haven't done it yet but i do need to do that i'm gonna do that this evening because I feel like having a half day today is not great so I'm going to put in a little bit of extra time this evening just by doing some bits on the iPad and things 
um, I could do it now but I really am in the mood for painting so I thought that I'd crack on with this so I'm just putting out some blue some yellow some I've got two different types of blue some green because the greens that are in this painting are going to be like a yellowy green and not this um, I don't even know what the colour is these are the Carandash gouache emerald green is what I've got here and I'm also just going to put a smidge of uh, sienna brulee no that's not right just burnt sienna <laughs> um, if I can get it open actually no let's go for this one let's go for ochre oh these are so tight on here um, anyway yeah so I'm going to try and limit this oh god it's just a bunch of oil literally just a bunch of oil it's going to be great um, I'm going to try and limit the palette on this a tiny bit um, and see how we get on I've got my water I've got my paint brushes already I've got these new paint brushes as well which I'm excited to use I've used them um, for acrylics but I haven't used them for gouache anyway yeah um, just doing a little bit of what excites me today so um, come along for the painting ride So this is what I've got so far with my painting. So I decided to go for this reference. So I've kind of cropped it like there. And then I've just got like the frame of the trees. So that's what I'm trying to get here. So these are my kind of like bases. Like I'm just getting, got all of the kind of shapes and everything in. And then I don't want to go like super detailed because I really love like how simple this looks but also it doesn't quite look like anything just yet so i'm gonna add in bits of white and stuff for reflections and add some darker shadows on the water i'm going to tone the rocks as well but i'm using the limited palette so i've got the ochre the two types of blue the green and the yellow and some white so i'm not going in with any black or brown i'm kind of trying to make my own very difficult when you don't have a red to try and make some brown um, I just end up with dark blues but 
it's looking okay the darkest areas need to be the rocks and this branch coming in um and uh, well the darkest area on the reference is like down here this bit's all in quite light so these will be the the darkest areas and some of the dark areas will be on the leaves as well which i've kind of started to block in um i really love the color of this paint water as well so cute um yeah so i'm going to continue with this probably tomorrow now because um, i need to go and have something to eat and then go to um therapy Oh, that's Abe from Abe's Odyssey. <laughs> she getting you. She's getting you. <laughs> Pretty.
Hello, it is the 20th of July. I'm just gonna move you up just a smidge. <laughs> Looks like I've got a massive moon in the background. Um, how are we doing? Um, I have not really done very much. Sorry, I'm just moving the camera around. Um, honestly, it's just been so, so freaking hot that I haven't really done anything. Today is a lot cooler. There's barely any sun. So uh, nice and overcast and cool. It got to 43 degrees yesterday. That was, that was a scorcher. I just sat at home in the dark and the only time I went out was to go and pick up James from school and he finished early. <sighs> and we just stayed at home in the dark, slowly dying. <laughs> um, but this morning I finished my painting. This one. I'm really quite pleased with it. Like... I hope you can tell what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. Um, I really tried to go with just a limited palette of blues, um, greens, yellows, and a little bit of white. So I've excluded like pinks, oranges, that kind of thing. Um, so it's a really limited palette and I've just created like the dark tones in the branches with a mixture of blue and a yellow ochre. A little bit of green as well to try and create the best kind of brown that i could possibly create for a dark branch um and then i've just used like various tints of greens mixed with yellows and then blues as well so i use two different types of blue um and this is the outcome just a very small square little canvas and i've painted it to go with the wetlands theme for uh what i've got going on on patreon um, and I really like it. <laughs> I don't know whether to do something with it because I might do a small series of like wetland themed paintings like this because I really enjoy doing this and it's really nice and quick and easy and I feel like I've got a particular kind of painting style for it if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I I might even go in with a bit of Posca pen and just bring out a few highlights as well in a second. Um, working with gouache, especially the gouache that I've got at the moment, is a little tricky because it's very... I don't know if it's the case with all gouache because I've only ever used this one and I've got a white that I use with watercolour, which is a Winsor & Newton designer's gouache. But I don't know if it's the case with all of it, but this one was just very, the coverage wasn't very great and it was quite streaky and I found that it was quite translucent. So I don't know whether other gouache, like the gouache that I've got is more of like a student grade. So I don't know whether the more artist grade gouache will be a little bit more opaque and just have a little bit more coverage or what, I don't know. Also, I can't remember whether I primed this board. I hope that I did. Anyway, that's what I've created. And I want to do another one. The dilemma that I have at the moment now, though, is it's currently half past ten. And it's my child's last day at school for the summer for six weeks. <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to get done during the day I'm gonna have to spend some evenings doing some stuff um or weekends or something and get Simon to take James out of the weekend because I'm literally gonna be stuck not stuck but I'm gonna be with James every single day uh for the summer for like all day so I feel like weekends Simon could you know if I need to get some stuff done he can just take James out so that I can have a little bit of work time because I'm going to need it because I've got a lot of things that I want to do and I'm not going to have very much time to do it so that's the dilemma that I have now um, so what I'm trying to do today before half 11 when I have to this is like an end of school picnic I'm really excited um, I'm going to have to go in an hour so I'm going to try and get 
a couple of videos or at least one video for Friday put together I still need to do my studio tour um, now that I've decorated um, I think that's going to be a next week thing um, I'll try and get some time where I can like film stuff to put finish putting that video together I haven't done any kind of pencil drawings I need to start one um, the puma I'm going to do a pan pastel background I've got the pan pastels I think I recorded the small delivery that I had so I'm going to do I think a blue like a dark blue background I'm going to mock up a couple more things because I've put a poll on Patreon about it um, but yeah that's what I've been doing the past couple of days just finishing off this painting and just trying to not die from the heat this country is not built for getting rid of heat we're built to retain heat so when it is hot everything gets so 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 hot um i love the heat like personally yesterday was a little bit on like the too hot variety i just didn't go outside at all but the monday i love that it was 30 and i love that like that is prime for me that's when i function nicely i did think i got a little bit of heat stroke though because i fell asleep at half past eight in the evening fuji's home <laughs> i fell asleep at half past eight and then didn't wake up i woke up at half past ten because i fell asleep on the sofa went to bed and then fell straight to sleep and then didn't wake up until like half seven so i slept for a good solid amount of time so i must have spent too much time in the sun anyway um, I'm going to record a few of the bits that I've got left to do this week but I won't be showing any more of my face to you guys so I hope you've enjoyed or will enjoy the rest of the studio vlog um, and I'll try and put out consistent content over the summer there's a lot of places that I'll be visiting so it'll be more of like things that I'm doing with James over the summer I think um during vlogs um there's a leaflet that i got through about like nature walks and things and i think i'm going to do a few of those with james so i'll include those in vlogs so it'll probably be a little bit less art content and more kind of daily life with a smidge of art <laughs> because that's going to be my life over the next couple of weeks and when you have a kid that goes to school and he's got six weeks of not going to school when you use that school time for you for doing work it's gonna be difficult <laughs> so yeah anyway thank you for stopping by and sticking with me i'll catch you guys soon i rarely come in my studio at this time of day hi sooks talk, talk. you will <laughs> hi you baby um but usually the sun catcher uh like two o'clock it like casts across the desk but at this time of day it casts across the wall and I don't think I've ever really been in here at this time lately um, and that's like a really nice a really nice little light catch there look at you being all photogenic and everything look at you Suki <laughs> I've also put my oh, painting up there It's on my shelf. I I'm going to list it for sale because I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with it. I don't know whether to put it on cards or anything like that or do anything with it. What do you think? Hmm. You're not sure either, are you? I've got an order over there, ready to package up as well. I thought there were going to be Royal Mail strikes this year, this year, <laughs> this week, um, but there weren't. And uh, yeah. That was um, fun. <laughs>